We all do as you say. I, I want to fucking live, man. All right. And, and so far, you've been telling me some stuff, and I'm really starting to fucking doubt some shit here. So I'm ready to do as you say, because I want to live. I was going to kill myself, yes. Right? But I turned back on that decision, right? Because I'm right here in front of you, am I not? Yeah, you are. Yeah. That's it. Figure it out. We'll do our best, Quaid. It's been a couple of days now, and... I'm still alive. I don't know what to make of all of this, but one thing's for sure, I need to find my family. I don't know why I'm seeing Quinn, and it's really starting to get to me. Quit fucking with me. Liam and the family were down the hill from Zeb Castle. That's where they met a strange southern talking man. Well, howdy, partner. Oh. Hello. Who might you be? Oh, there's two of you. I didn't even see the second chap pulling up. I'm Thaddeus right here. Hi there. How are you doing? Ah, oh, I'm doing great. Oh. 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 Hi, Father. How Father. are you? Oh. Watch out. It is a pleasure to uh, see you again. I have a new friend to you. Name's Thaddeus. I, I was taking a nap up there in the castle just up the hill. You know, you could call me all day. He was good to me and brought me down here and said I could meet up with some people, so... <laughs> <laughs> I had received a message from Sam Woodhall, telling me to go to Zub Castle. He had something for me. Also, the family was there. Uh, hello? Who, uh, who are you? Oh, <laughs> that's you, Sam. Hey, um, got your present. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, after all this time. <laughs> ah, this is good. Uh, uh, do you want this? Uh, I'll pick that up, oh, yeah. Ah, oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Sam. Uh, who, who, who's your friend here? Hi. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know either of you. I just, uh, I just came up here. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah, hi. well, hello. <laughs> Uh, nice to meet you. I thought you were with uh, Sam here. <laughs> no, no, I don't know him. Uh, who, who are you to Sam? Sam and... Uh, oh, uh, the name's Eddie. <laughs> Sam and Eddie. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and what's your your name? Fine, sir. Vlad. Vladimir. Ah, Vladimir. Well, it's a real pleasure. Who are you? Uh, where Where are you going? Ah, to see your oh, friends. <laughs> me, friends. Do you know what this place is uh, called? I believe it's called... Oh, the... Zub? Oh, oh, I didn't... I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> I believe, uh... I have to be heading to the north. It should be. Oh, I'll I'll help, help you. I'll I, I could point you in the direction. Uh, you want north? Is that what you okay. asked for? Yes. Uh, yeah, just point me the direction. And, uh, yes, uh, as you can see here, uh, it looks like it's pointing directly north, right over there. That way. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, best of luck. Uh, with, yes. Uh, with the Oh, all right, Eddie. Hey, you know. Brother Don, <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> uh, uh, Who's this uh, fine gentleman? Uh, Vladimir, very nice uh, fellow. And, uh, Vladimir, uh, but I was just going to the north. I all right, pal. Okay, pal. Okay, pal. I just kindly pointed all him right, out well, the north okay. Oh, later, Vladimir. <laughs> good luck. You. Yes. Uh, who was that man you were speaking to? Why was he up here? He was just a random guy. He's seen half enough. Yeah, he was okay. Yeah. 
Uh, it doesn't seem threatening, uh, at least not to me. He spoke nicely to me. I like that. It's such a <laughs> glorious day that, uh, uh, well, Mother Sam right here uh, got me a new bat. I'm so okay. happy. Oh, that's good, I. I am not acquainted with this map on here. Who are you? Hello, my oh, name is Darian. Oh, well, this, this, this warms my heart. Why, oh, isn't this nice? Look at our family, Brother Don. Look at that. Go. I love it. Uh, I I am. Hello there. Oh, Kyle. How you getting on, brother? Yes, uh, Kyle. <laughs> Hi. I'm... It's good to see you. Hello there, Brother Eddie. Oh, looking well. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, as good as I can be after everything that fucking happened. I have much to tell my brothers and sisters. Brother Eddie, uh, it's not too much trouble. Would you mind, I don't know, indulging me for a bit of conversation? You, uh, recall the other night, don't you, Brother Eddie? The night I was captive? Yes. Oh, yeah. Hard to forget. I learned a few things. That man who held us uh, captive, me and Sterling, told us a lot of things, such as... And I don't want to say this in front of everybody because I do owe you a lot of respect, brother. But told me that your name is really Liam. Is this true? No. no why, um... Why would he, um, say that my name was Liam? How, um... How did he, I come I to be brought up the in the uh, conversation? He asked me for the names of my brothers and sisters. Excuse me, but I was bleeding out. <laughs> no, you mean, um... You had to uh, clarify for him that it wasn't uh, Brother Sweeney, that there was in fact a, another Brother Kyle. He instantly assumed that I was talking about you and said, no, there's a Kyle, not Sweeney, but uh, another Kyle, and his name is really Liam, so I figured that wouldn't be you. And of course, brother, I don't want to create any chaos, because I love you like I love all my other brothers and sisters. I'm not gonna lie, it really got me upset a little bit at first, but I started thinking, you know, I'm sure you had your reasons. We all have our reasons for things. Sometimes we do things, and I used to be a sinner. I used to be a very bad person who uh, indulged in very... Not good things, and well, I made a lot of choices and a lot of uh, decisions in which uh, my former name was spoken by people who may have uh, gotten hurt, people I could not keep safe. And I'm sure if uh, you had a child you were looking after, a young, innocent child who. Uh, Knew your name, Brother Eddie, and um, in a uh, unfortunate circumstance, that child was uh, put in a position where a number of the infected were ripping them limb from limb. And all they could do, all they could imagine to say in their desperate time of need, the only thing they could plead is your name. They scream, Brother Eddie, Brother Eddie, save me, Brother Eddie, help me. It hurts. It's so painful. Where are you, Brother Eddie? And there's not a fucking thing you can do. I'm sure when you hear your name screamed out in anguish and agony over and over again in your dreams, in your nightmares, and you can have no solace, eventually you stop wanting to be referred to as Brother Eddie, and maybe you call yourself Brother Kyle. I'm just yeah. just glad it wasn't on purpose or anything. I, that's all I wanted to know. But uh, many things have happened to me and Brother Sterling. It's going to be a long story. Sure it is, Brother Eddie. Uh, um, if you wouldn't mind indulging me for a moment more. You, uh, it's funny you should uh, mention that you... Uh, you know, wanted to survive so that you could uh, live to fight another day, as they say, and live to 
protect your brothers and sisters. That's something I can, I can admire. I find it humorous, to say the least. Because, uh, well, you were trying to live to survive in order to protect your brothers and sisters. Do you uh, happen to know what I was doing? Me and another brother, he attempted to uh, fight the disbelievers and, and to rescue you. And I'm sure you uh, may have been around for the skirmish that ensued as you were held captive. A number yes. of the... Uh, uh, yes, I have. Okay. Yes. I was among I'm those. I'm afraid. Were you yes. trying to rescue us? I went there because I wanted to save my dear brothers who were captive. I wanted to make sure no harm would befall you. Yeah, the uh, Dr. Quaid is becoming rather suspicious of me anyway. He is a very yeah, uh, punctual be, uh... charlatan, to say the least. Uh, it's no matter. <laughs> it's no matter at all, Brother Eddie. I... I forgive you. I pray for you. As do I, brother. Unfortunately, shot me in the back. Uh, but by the will of the Maker, I was able to escape and stop the bleeding. Yes, right, the Maker. I am very happy. Oh, brother Kyle, huh? come here. Praise the Maker. Praise Ooh. the Maker. Both of you, put your fucking hands up! Put your fucking hands up! Put your fucking hands up! I'm not put sure if you're aware, hands my hands, hands kind of right are up. Right yes, the hands are up. Okay, move down the hill right now! Move fucking down the hill right now! Let's go! We were all of a sudden okay. held captive by the Chidaki. What's going on? No, please don't, don't hurt her. I'm not quite sure. Nah. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, watching all those I'm John Wayne and Miami Vice. Uh, watch, watch, you know, that John Wayne and Miami Vice. Oh. Good for uh, uh, okay, can I ask a question, please? Uh, who the fuck are you guys? Alright, all right. right. if you are uh... I know, anyone? Who the fuck are you guys? Oh, I'm the father. Right here. With the uh, black boonie hat in the ballot club. Uh, oh, how do you know I'm lying? Uh, if you know who the father is, by all means, point him out. Father. Father. Get the fuck up, you! Shut the fuck up! True, it's true, it's true. She doesn't have anything. She doesn't have anything to do with this. I invited, I, I, I wanted, I brought her along, and I, no, 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 I came along with you, Rebecca, and so forth. No, I invited you, I invited you, and I'm so no, sorry. No, no, I wanted to come, I just wanted to come with you. Yeah. I just, I don't, I, I, I don't see what happened. Shut the fuck up, I'm with you. Shut the fuck up, be quiet. If you want to speak to this bullet to the face. Shut the fuck up. You will be quiet. If not, you get bullets to pay. Very simple. Face the person in front of you. Come on. All right, this is going to be very simple. It's kind of like Simon said. If you follow this insane man that's in the middle, turn and face me now. If you lie, you die. Young man, shut your fucking mouth. Did we say talk? Shut your fucking mouth. Did we say talk? So, uh, none of you follow this. I'm going to ask again. If you follow the man that is right behind me, face me now. Turn and face me. Man. All right. You are going to step forward and stand in front of all people that might be lying. Otherwise, she will be shot. Your no. friend. Okay. All right. Everybody all face right. the person in front of you. Moving. Face the person in front of you. All right. Now start moving slowly one step out of there. I don't know. If one of you steps out of line, you'll be shot. All right, uh, you're holding up the line. You, come in. Sorry, I think he's like fucking distracting you or something. I don't know. Not move. Please, underneath. Come on, underneath. You have to step in there. You want to keep stepping out of line? You uh, die. Pick up. Move. Go. Fucking move. Come on. Fucking move. Can I go ahead? You know, Eddie, because you're so fucking weak, you're going to die tonight. 
A man named Connor and his friend left with the father in another direction. I can't see anything. Can you put on the light, please? Um, no, it's okay. Just, uh, keep running forward and, uh... No, it's not okay. Fine. I, I cannot see light. anything. Yeah, it's okay. Just keep going forward and you'll know if you uh, run into a tree, because it will fucking hurt. So just keep going. I, I told you to, to... God damn it! I'm, I'm hurt! Keep I, I'm, fucking I'm bleeding! I, okay. I'm bleeding! I, I can't see! Good! Very good! good. That Come means on. it's working now. Turn keep fucking yeah. going! Uh, that means nice. bleeding is a good sign. It means that your heart is still pumping. I'm assuming right now it's pumping rather fast. Come on, follow me. Just it keep is not. My voice. I have the maker on my side. You have the maker on your side. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I can help you meet him if that's what you want. I am not afraid. Stop. I'm curious. Your little maker. How is he going to protect you here? Uh, sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about now. I'm a traitor. And I would suggest you stop me. fucking lying. If I pull it in your head and we're done, then I will move to the next person. So, yeah, your little mate. Hold on. You're going moment. to tell me. I would recommend that if there are any of these followers of the father that are here, it would look very ill of you if you let innocent people die. It would maybe possibly lose people from your faith, as you call it. Now, you're telling me. What will your maker do about this? I have no idea what a maker will do. No, I have no idea. But you are one of the... No, I came, to, I came over there to fucking trade. I met a guy named Sam. Okay, I'm fucking done with you. I was about to leave. Lie again and you will get fucking shot in the head. So, do you re do you want to reconsider? Hmm? Okay, everyone here can live. Tell me if you're fucking I already fucking. told you the truth. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that man was a liar. Move. I do not like liars. Okay, <laughs> I fuck? really do not like liars. So now we're going now to make the lie. And wine. Uh, we are going what to start talking. Oh. My name, my, my name is Eddie. Eddie Beck. This man is a part of the the fucking. Yes. We actually hit him other day. The man oh, second oh, in line. Oh, His oh, name oh. Eddie. What was second in line? Yeah. Eddie what? Mm -hmm. Eddie Beck. Okay. So this man, Eddie Beck. At the moment, we are dealing with your father. Uh, yes. But he is not your real father, you know? Uh, well, no. He is a man that treats you like a fool. He used you to further his own will. Only for him. But now, you step forward. Over here, next to this tree. Y yes, sir. That should be free. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, God. This is getting good. Who are you? My name is Kara Blyden. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Make sure you don't forget about our... Caroline, of course, of course. Why do you think the father would come and save you? He's the reason you are here. Did you see what his people did to Connor's Why finger you follow? and his fucking ear? No, I well, don't know what you're talking more. about. Cutting, cutting marks into their flesh. Promise me a family, and I, hey, I wanted a family. There were hey, people that you stand loved up. me and I You move me. over here. Okay. Sit next to Eddie, Caroline. Alright, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy fucking shooting you in the face. It was going all right, that's way too fucking bad. What is your man? Oh, alright, alright. I'm gonna fail in all the juice. Hang. You'll go this to me. You okay? You'll stick. Next in line. 
And why do you follow this path? I I do because I he he said people would worship me. So you're <laughs> no. <laughs> the only worship oh, that will be done is you to him. I've never used anything like that before. He uses you. Stand up. You Stand up. Him. Follow him. During this time, Connor was still interrogating the father. I am a man of love. I cannot control my children. I am sorry. I am sorry for your loss, Connor. I am. Make can forgive you. He can, if you only believe in your heart. The Maker can't fucking forgive anyone. The Maker is not real, you delusional bastard. No, you're going to give me full <laughs> and To be honest, I'm probably not going to use my real name from now on, so... You know your voice, your name <laughs> doesn't no, the fucking matter. Huh? What name do you bark? <laughs> what is the other one? Uh, uh, fuck, Liam, that works, I don't care. Who of your group yeah, tried to save you the day? I just arrived, guys. I, I don't even know what happened. Yet I didn't even get a chance to speak to any of them. I I just got to the castle. I saw the light and I was going to them. It's been a rough. Yes, you're going to keep whoever tried to save you alive today. Like I said, all a man of tortured people who dismember you. David, you think that makes you better person, huh? I am. I wasn't aware of any kind of torturing or dismembering. I um, I've you know just been here very recently. <laughs> Uh, so I haven't personally been involved in any of that. Definitely not you, you weak You man. can stand up and you can move to us. Okay. Connor was still dealing with the father. Remove my jacket. I will get cold. Stop that oh, fucking knife. I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, you'll be a lot colder when your blood has stopped pumping around your body. What's your name, father? Because I know your, your name is not the father. My name is the father. No, it's not. My name is the father. What My is your real name? name? Is the father. My name is the father. What is the name that you were born with? The father. It is not the father. That is absurd. You have a real name. Now tell me. I said the father. Don't fucking lie to me. Say your real name. The father! Race, make, race, make, I will not commit then the maker protects me oh, you son of a bitch shut the fuck up door another not one to entertain his ego another one to be one of his pups one he can control and you left him Eddie, you're stronger than you think. People, Remember we talked like about the other controlled. day. I, I know. It's it's so hard. You have no idea how it is to be like me. I, I, sometimes I can't control myself. I I know I'm my own person. I just like to be around people because without them. I feel like I don't belong. Be around, be around people. much better people. Be around people. There is plenty of good people around. But he is <laughs> not one of them. I don't want to fucking die, and especially not because of somebody else's stupid fucking mistake. I don't want you to die. I want you to realize that you are being used by a manipulative <sighs> person. And think about how long it will be until he asks you to kill. Do you want to kill? Are you a killer, Eddie? No. No, I never killed anybody. I even now, and I, I had plenty of chances, but I never did. Well, you follow a murderer, a murderer of many commandments of God. Kill a lot more than the people around. I didn't know he went around killing people. Are you ready to meet your maker?
Do whatever you must. Well, I don't have any question that you have for me, but please, um, first, um, can you tell me um, some of the things that he's done? One of them, his name is Connor. Has uh, the father ever spoke to you about Connor? No, I haven't heard that name. <laughs> of course, yeah. Why would he? Why would he speak about just one of his many victims? Connor lost an ear to this man. Connor lost a finger to this man. And Connor lost a friend to this man. This man blew her fucking brains out with a shotgun. Okay. And um, you, you follow this man. When, um, when, uh, he, um, he put my hand against the, um, the coals, <laughs> I, um, I thought what? that he was just trying to show me. <laughs> yes, brother, Eddie, the, um, the burn on my hand, um, <laughs> I thought he was just trying to show me, um, the pain that people who don't follow the maker feel, and, oh, I felt that pain, I felt it, it was, it was, and, um, and then he promised me a family, and I, and he promised I would see Daniel again, and I, I wanted to see my son yeah, if I, uh, if I knew about all these, uh, details, I probably wouldn't have gotten involved, to be honest. <laughs> you think he will show you your son? You think he will lead you to your son, huh? No, you abandon him. You join his man. My son is dead, him. and that's why he said that he would help me find my son again. So don't ever <laughs> suggest that I did not do anything for him. You don't know what I did to try to protect my son, and he's gone, and he said that I would see him again, so... This man finds a weakness in you, and he uses that. He manipulates you based on that. <laughs> that is what he does. Then you will either decide. There are three options for you. Three options for you and your future. You will either be dead, you will abandon him, or you will continue trying to hurt him. You will leave him, but you will try to kill him. To redeem him. Those are your three options in the future. You get to choose. I think. That is on you in the future. But you should not follow a man who doesn't care about you. They're just going to break away again. Why do you believe that the father cares about you when he lies about everything? And now he has you here, in shape. We're all people that are exiled, that are not liked for who we are, or have difficult pasts, not accepted, abandoned, and then you promised me a family, people who would try to take care of me as best as they could, and I was just praying for others as well. I, I thought that was okay. I didn't know he was going around hurting people, torturing them, and even less... Even less Caroline here. I didn't even know about that. Her hands. It's just, it's horrible. It's its not right. But now you tell me all these things and it's, it's really, it's really shaking me up inside. And I don't know how to deal with it. It's really hard. I can understand the shock. But see, the way you should deal with it is simple. Be your own man. Do not follow his words. Follow yourself. What you think is right, not what he thinks is right. right. Yeah. Simple, huh? Very simple. They decided to let us go, but not without telling us that Connor killed the father. Mm -hmm. uh. Actually, it's quite funny, actually. When, when uh, my hand was pressed against the cold, and it hurt at first, but when the pain went away, I guess it was adrenaline or shock, I don't know, but I don't know. The only weird thing about it was I could smell my own flesh burning off. God. Um, but, um, I thought, oh, my father was right, you know. Of my pain has been taken away, but, um, I don't know, I guess it was just myself trying to, um, well, get away from what was happening. We all felt the same way, I'm sure. He made me feel this way, too. 
You didn't have to hurt me, but you made me. Yes. Hello. All of a sudden, Quaid appeared. Oh, I'm just checking on my uh, good friend Eddie to make sure he's not behaving himself properly. Yes. Oh, well, if you feel so unkind, I mean, you can join the conversation. No, no. I'm sure you guys have been through enough today. Where did um, <laughs> Liam go? I have no idea. Where the hell did he go? You, uh, okay? Yeah, I'm just dandy. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, Dr. Quaid. You're a quick bastard, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, well, thank you. Have you, uh, have you been observing me running around or something like that? Oh, no, you're the one. I mean, unless somebody else, uh, dressed as unique as you do. I remember you, if it was you, uh, shooting at me the other day. Oh, I, um, don't recall that, but, um, okay. Could have been somebody else wearing this the same thing. Fair enough. Could be, uh, mistaken. Anyways, an uh, emergency came up and I have to depart. Okay, Mr. White. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel better, the uh, Chidake told me the father was dead, so... I don't know. And I asked him if they at least stabbed him in, you know, an artery, like femoral or carotid, but uh, apparently they didn't, so hopefully the job got done.